All right. So in this problem, we have a, um, a mass on a spring that oscillates to some initial amplitude of six centimeters. And then after eight cycles, dies down to an amplitude of about 3.5 centimeters. So to find the change in energy, delta E, we want to look at um, the final energy minus the initial energy. Okay. The final energy is one half k a final squared minus the initial which is one half so k a initial squared this is the energy of a spring at full amplitude for a final we will plug in 0 0.035 meters so this is one half 2.5 Oh, sorry, the 2.5 is newtons per centimeter. So this is really 255 newtons per meter. And then a final is 0 0.035 meters squared minus 1 half 255 0 0.06 meters squared and we get an energy change of 0 0.3 joules so we've lost 0 0.3 joules that's why it's negative here um and this change can come due to uh it comes due to a loss of energy um to the environment so this could be air resistance which is a type of friction itself so it says it's on a frictionless horizontal air track, but there, there might still be air resistance. This could be lost to sound. Um, there are many ways in, ho in how a system uh, can lose energy. There can be friction within the spring itself. Um, so just because it's a frictionless air track doesn't mean you can't lose energy.